Hi, this video will help you how to multiply and divide fractions. In multiplying fractions, if A, B, C, and D denote integers and both B and D are not equal to zero, then we have the general form which is A over B times C over D is equal to AC over BD. Or simply, multiply the numerator by the numerator and multiply the denominator by the denominator. Let's have the first example, 5 over 4 times 3 over 7. For this one, you just have to simply multiply the numerator 5 by the numerator 3 over multiply the denominator 4 by the denominator 7. So therefore, for the numerator, 5 times 3 gives us 15 and denominator 4 times 7 gives us 28. After which, check if the given fraction is already in its lowest term. And yes, it is. So therefore, 15 over 28 is already the final answer for the first example. Now, for the second example, we have negative 2 and 3 fourths times 2 over 5. Notice that one of the given numbers is in mixed form. So therefore, you have to first convert it into an improper fraction. To recall how to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction, we first multiply the denominator by the whole number, then whatever is the product, add it to the numerator. So therefore, this would be, regardless of the sign, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So when we convert the first fraction into an improper fraction, it would now become 11 over, then copy the denominator 4. But since the first fraction is negative, this would also be negative. And then we copy the next fraction times 2 over 5. And now, we multiply the numerator by the numerator, but don't forget, this will already give you a negative fraction. So that would be 11 times 2 in the numerator over 4 times 5 in the denominator. And then, before multiplying, check first if you can actually simplify certain numbers in the given expression. And in here, you can actually simplify the 2 and the 4. 2 would now become 1, and 4 would now become this process will help you deal with smaller numbers in your solution. So, to continue, this is negative, then the numerator would now be 11 times 1, which is 11, and the denominator 2 times 5 will give us 10. And then, upon checking at the given fraction, negative 11 over 10, it is already in its lowest term, so this would now become the final answer. We have negative 11 over 10. Now, you might realize that the form is an improper fraction. Well, that's okay as long as the fraction is in its lowest term already. Moving on, we have dividing fractions. If A, B, C, and D denote integers where both B and D are not equal to 0, then we have the general form for dividing fractions, which is A over B divided by C over D is equal to AB times BC, which is equal to AD over BC. In dividing fractions, you have to actually first get the reciprocal of the divisor. So this C over D becomes D over C. And from division, it becomes multiplication. In short, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to the rule in multiplying fractions. For the first example, we have 5 over 4 divided by 3 over 7. Notice that the fractions used are the same with the one on top, but the operation used is division. So to solve this kind of problem, copy the dividend as it is. So we have 5 over 7. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. So instead of writing 3 over 7, it would become 7 over 3. And then, instead of using division, we're going to proceed with the operation of multiplication. And then from here, we simply multiply. So 5 times 7 and then 4 over 3. So this would give us the numerator is 35 and the denominator is 12. Upon checking at the given fraction, it's already in its lowest term. So this is now the final answer. Now for the second example, the numbers used here are different. We have negative 2 and 1 fourth divided by 3 over 5. Same thing with multiplication of fractions. You have to first convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So that would give us the first fraction is already negative. So multiply the denominator by the whole number. So that's 4 times 2, which is 8. Then add 1. So that would be 9 in the numerator. 
then copy the denominator 4. So negative 2 and 1 fourth, when converted into an improper fraction, is equal to negative 9 over 4. And then, instead of using 3 over 5, get the reciprocal, which is 5 over 3. And instead of division, proceed to the operation of multiplication. So in here, we're going to now multiply. But notice that we can actually simplify certain numbers here. 3 and 9 can be simplified into 9 becomes 3 and 3 becomes 1. So again, this process will help you deal with smaller numbers in your solution. Now, the two fractions are of different sides. So the product would be negative. And now we work with multiplying the numerator by the numerator. So 3 times 5 will give us 15. And the denominator, 4 times 1, will give us 4. And then, when we look at the two numbers, 15 and 4, it is already expressed in its lowest term. So therefore, negative 15 over 4 is already the final answer. Now, open your Schoology and answer the following items.